So I wanted to go over some tips for selecting things like nodes and the face of a 3D element in Prepost. So th this can be really helpful whenever you're trying to make sets for things like tied contacts. I've got a little setup here with these two solid cubes and a solid cylinder. And if I go to blanket and I can show you it's a solid. So um, say you want to tie um, this cylinder to both of these cubes. So what you need to do is create um, node or segment sets for the faces of these cubes and then on the cylinder. So I'm gonna go through some tips on how to do that. If you go to model here and then go to create entity, this is how you create sets in prepost or the easiest way to create sets, I should say. Make sure you're in the create tab and then here you can set the set ID and you wanna make sure you click here whatever you want to create. So if we'll start with the node set. This is set underscore node. So all sets are formatted this way. We have a star set and then underscore what it is. So this is node. So uh, ID one's fine. And then this box is gonna appear whenever you click one of these. This is the selection box. And um, I've been, uh, been over this before, but area, you can click and drag and select the area. And it's gonna actually select through the object. So it's gonna select all the elements that are hidden behind as well. If you hit clear to clear your selection, uh, pick you can actually just select individual ones and then uh, that's about as far as I got so If you wanted to select only the face of one of these cubes What you could do is you could sure go to area and find it and go to the very side and click and drag down like that and Well, see you may not actually hit them all and this is a back-of-the-envelope way to do it But this isn't the best way to do it um, if you go over here to buy element so normally it's by node where you're actually clicking nodes by the node, but if you go to by element, it's gonna select nodes by the element that you click. So this is a 3D um, element right here. So whenever you click that element, it's gonna select all the nodes associated with that element, which means that there's eight nodes right here. Um, but what you can do is go down here to prop, and this is propagate. What this is gonna do is propagate your selection of the element along a angle. So uh, the lower the angle, the less nodes are gonna be selected along a curved surface. Think of it like that. So if you have a really flat surface, angle of five is fine and you can just click on that face and it's gonna select all the nodes or the segments on that face, whatever you have. So in this case, it's gonna be nodes. What you can do um, as well is you can do this on a curved surface. So if you leave this at angle five and you click, it's only gonna select the nodes that are within an angle of five degrees. And that is, if you're looking at it like this, if this angle is less than five, or if, if it's less than five degrees, it'll keep selecting. In this case, it's not. So if you bump this up to 10 and you select again, it's still not greater. If you go to 15, there you go. So these angles are all less than 15 degrees and it would be if you drew like a cut through here that angle would be less than 15 degrees so um, that's the easiest way to select stuff around a curved surface this can get a little more confusing along more uh, surfaces with more contours but um, that's easy way to do like the surface of a solid object you can also create a selection along a path so if you go back up to here uh, you can clear this and then go down to by path you can click in a certain specific location and then click down further and it's gonna select all the nodes or segments, whatever you're doing along that path. Um, and if you click in like an arbitrary direction, it's going to determine like the best path to get there. So something more useful than just the cylinder would be the edge of the cylinder up here. You could click here. And if you don't wanna click around the entire thing, you can click, well, that's not right, well, messed up. If you click, along a intuitive direction so you can do like four clicks along this you can quickly select all of them instead of you know selecting the whole top row and then deselecting something else you can do is create a selection between two objects in proximity with one another so you have this cylinder and these two cubes and you want to select the nodes closest to one of these cubes what you can do is go here to proximity click that and it's gonna give you a proximity distance. Well, I know that um, these two things are around 10 millimeters from each other, so what you can do is make it whatever distance you want, go to like 15, and you click the 
part that you want to select the proximity to. So we want to select nodes along this cylinder in proximity to this cube. We click the cube and then it's going to select both the nodes of the cube, of all of the cube, and then nodes along this cylinder and it's actually going to select through as well. What you're then going to want to do is remove the nodes that are attached to the part that you used to select the nodes on the cylinder because you only want the nodes on the cylinder selected. So in order to do that, you can go back to pick, uh, go to remove, and if you go to remove, you can actually left click and anything you left click will be selected. But you can go back to by part here and click this entire cube and it's going to remove all of the nodes connected to that cube. So now you've isolated this um, portion of the cylinder um, that was close to the block. You can also save any selections that you make here in the save. You click save to buffer and then you click where to save something. So we click buffer three. If this clears or you mess up and accidentally, you know, if you close this, you want to open it back and get back into your progress, you can hit load from buffer and then you can find buffer three is the one that we just saved it in and it's going to reload those nodes. So this is really useful um, for kind of saving your progress as you're doing stuff in pre-post instead of actually saving. It'll save your life, trust me. So um, other than that, uh, whenever you find something that you want, um, like a selection that you want, and uh, you want to create a node set, you just hit apply, and then there's your node set. And it's going to show up here. And if you wanted to edit this node set, what you have to do is uh, go to show, click it, and then go to modify. It has to be clicked on show for it to show up here on modify. And then you click it and then you can, uh, you can take some away and then apply. And you took those nodes away. You can add some if you go back and apply. So you modify them. You can also do this with um, set segments, which are useful in contacts. So um, go to create. We can use some of the same things we just used, which are like by element propagation. You want a set along the edge like that. You can hit apply and then you want one here and here and then apply. And now you have these two different um, sets of segments. You could actually split these two cubes up into two different ones, but this would be good for making a contact between um, the two cubes and the cylinder if you wanted to like compress the cylinder or something. But those are just some tips on selection tools. I'm gonna try and make some shorter videos so they're a little easier to digest. I also did wanna add that I am trying to create a forum for uh, users like yourselves and students whoever wants to just learn about this because it's a lot easier to ask questions, get a quick answer back on like a forum type um, structure. I don't really know what I'm saying, but I'm gonna post a link down below on uh, this video and Feel free to jump by and just start asking questions. The quicker we get people commenting on stuff, the better inventory we'll have to answer other people's questions. And it's really, really bare bones. I just finished it this last weekend. So um, it may not be perfect. We'll just, we'll just say that. It's probably gonna be best on desktop. So keep that in mind. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.